Hello there and welcome to another Film in 5 review from More Movies. My name is Greg Fisher and in this video I'm going to be talking about the 1976 action-adventure sci-fi film Logan's Run, which was directed by Michael Anderson and stars Michael York, Jenny Agata, Richard Jordan and Peter Ustinov. Just a warning that I am going to be talking about the story and other elements and details from the movie, so consider this a spoiler alert. Logan's run is set in the 23rd century in a futuristic society in which everyone is provided for and life is idyllic inside a huge biodome city controlled by a central computer. Even reproduction is taken care of by the machine. There's just one catch. Anyone who reaches the age of 30 must be terminated. Hasta la vista, baby. At birth, everyone is implanted with a crystal on their left hand, which changes color over time and acts as a sort of life clock. Once you get to 30, it starts flashing red. These citizens are given a chance at renewal in a regular event called Carousel, which is a strange and ritualistic ceremony that can only be likened to something like a Roman amphitheater, except instead of gladiators battling to the death, the participants in Carousel are lifted from the ground and blasted into oblivion in a seemingly indiscriminate fashion. The idea that they will possibly be renewed is widely believed, but in fact a furtive fallacy. Anyone who attempts to avoid the carousel is deemed a runner and will be hunted down and terminated by a special detail known as Sandmen. The central character Logan Five, played by Michael York, is a Sandman whose life is one long hurrah as he and his colleague Francis Seven, played by the excellent Richard Jordan, laugh and blast their way through a pleasure-filled, hedonistic, utopian lifestyle. They get whatever they desire, they do not question the authority for which they work, and they dispatch runners whenever anyone decides to try and escape the carousel. However, there are rumours amongst the underground about a place known as Sanctuary. Somewhere beyond the confines of the dome, where people can live beyond the age of 30 and even grow old. But to Logan, these are just silly rumours, and to a zealot like Francis, the rumours would be heretical. But when the enigmatic Jessica Six enters Logan's life, he is confronted with an aspect of society that he knows nothing about, and is initially very dismissive of. Soon he becomes aware of an underground movement dedicated to helping runners flee the carousel and escape to Sanctuary. When Logan is tasked with locating Sanctuary and destroying it, the computer accelerates his life clock four years and it begins to flash. Logan is quite scared by this and asks if he will get the years back when the mission is complete, but the computer gives no answer. And so, Logan becomes a runner and he and Jessica Six must try to escape the city and find Sanctuary, whilst being pursued by the other Sandmen and in particular Francis Seven. There are lots of moments of danger and peril on their journey, but they eventually manage to find their way to the outside world. If you've seen Logan's Run, then you know what transpires in the second half of the movie. If you haven't, then I really do hope you get to see it and find out what happens to Logan and Jessica, because I'm not going to say any more about their adventure in this video. I don't care. This movie is pretty unique, but it can be lined up with other dystopian sci-fi cult classics of the time, such as Planet of the Apes, The Andromeda Strain, THX 1138, The Omega Man, Soylent Green, and Westworld. Each of these movies painted its own unique vision of a future human society that had in some way fell foul of its own progress and was at great risk of losing its soul to technology. Each of these movies posed philosophical questions and also acted as allegories for the ways in which we live in modern society. Logan's run comments on the frivolities of hedonism and the perils of youth worship. It places a value on the wisdom of age, the privilege of growing older, and the beauty of simplicity of nature as opposed to the cold, calculated solutions provided by machines. On the surface, this film is dated in terms of its aesthetic and its special effects, but at the time some of the techniques used were considered to be groundbreaking. But I think Logan's run outlives a lot of its obvious timestamps and still has a lot of contemporary value. In terms of cinema history, we can identify films such as the aforementioned Star Wars, alongside Blade Runner and Escape from New York as being direct descendants of Logan's run in terms of influence, both aesthetic and thematic. Looking back on the film now, one gets a sense of the past in terms of filmmaking, 
but also a sense of an as yet unwritten future where we are still very much in danger of losing our grasp on the practical realities of nature and also of willingly falling headlong into the trappings of a hedonistic culture obsessed with staying young and capitulating to an ever-expanding artificial intelligence. There is no sanctuary. Well, that's it for this review. Leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of the video. And I hope to see you again on another Film in 5 review for more movies. So what did you think of Logan's Run? Leave me a comment and let me know. And don't forget to like, share and subscribe right here on YouTube. To see more of our articles and reviews, check out our website, moremovies.co.uk. And why not join us on social media, at More Movies For You, that's across the board. If you like our content and wish to support us, you can buy us a coffee at buymeacoffee.com or you can become a pledge over at patreon.com. All the links are in the description below. And to check out more of our filmtastic videos, click one of the links on screen now.